Contrary to popular opinion, the most advanced machine in the world isn't the drinking bird, it's actually the human brain. It conducts millions of calculations every second, with much of the processing power dedicated to seeing and hearing. But imagine if you had to live without one of those senses. Well, we thought we'd give it a try. I would be blind and Hamish would be deaf for 50 hours. Percentage-wise, what chance do you give Andy making it the whole weekend without, uh, without seeing? 10%. 10%? has to be low. has to be low. Has to be low. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, over the weekend, I think Hamish will be quite surprised at how difficult it is to be hearing impaired. It's, a big, it's going to be a big challenge. Uh, the, the, the difficulty of being blind for 50 hours is, is very significant. We are so extraordinarily dependent on vision that the sudden withdrawal is going to be quite a problem. So with a ringing endorsement from our medical team, Hamish's ears were blocked up. Are they working? Can you hear me? <laughs> and I was plunged into darkness. Good luck, mate. Thank See you. you later. Cheers. We may have been down a vital sense or two, but with my help, Andy wouldn't even know that he'd lost his sight. Light blue car, red, dark blue, white, green, black, nothing. Uh, we're about to go to 7 p.m. Uh, Hamish normally just tries to keep making jokes until he hears people laughing. Uh, unfortunately, he can't hear that, so I think it might just be ramblings of a madman. So what systems have you guys got in place, like, working together as a team to get through the weekend? We didn't... Will we kiss? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe later on if we get bored. But once the novelty wore off, the reality of Andy's sudden loss of sight did hit him unexpectedly. Uh, hey, hey, on a serious note, I'm having massive anxiety attacks. I'm having massive anxiety. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I can't, Wait, maybe even, if you... I can't even remember the show. I can't even remember being on that show. Strangely, I feel like crying. Mate, no doubt. It's weird, isn't it? But you're also hungry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if you cry too much and we have to sit here all night crying, then I'll cry because we don't get to go to dinner. So at risk of a second man crying, we went to dinner. It's fine, it's all flat, it's all flat. Look at you go, you've almost finished. <laughs> hungry. I'm going to go to sleep, which is the one thing I've been looking forward to doing for a long time. Ice cream? Yeah, that's exactly what I just said. <laughs> but before bed, I wanted a way to contact Haim in case of an emergency. Cause you're, can your phone do voice dialing? Yeah, come on. Call Hamish Blake. Andy! <laughs> come here, you are deaf! <laughs> yeah, it works. 14 hours in, and we discovered if we were going to make it through this weekend, we'd have to work as a team. Call a maxi dress. Uh, you, you resisted at first, but try it. Ocean spritz? That's a yes. <laughs> Determined not to let our impairment restrict us, we joined some mates for a spot of bowls. Terrible, mate. Watch what you're doing. And I finally got a chance to get one up on ham. Guys, I just want to take this opportunity to tell you both that Hamish wipes his bum from the front. <laughs> He does. He, like does he does. I don't know how he does it either, but he reckons 50% of people do it. 50% of people do not wipe their bum. <laughs> Are you talking about the ass wiping thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that weird. It's just how I was raised. Not being included in conversation is a lonely place to be, so I was actually yeah. forced to turn to evil to pass my time. That's 10 to me. <laughs> Getting better, though. 40 hours in and 10 to go. We met up with my dad, although he did seem happier to see Andy. Andy, you don't have to crouch. <laughs> Just I crouch can't Andy. do it. Andy, Dad. I can still see. It's good to see you. How are you, Dad? <laughs> he's, been, he's getting pretty good at lip reading. No, he's not. There is something you should know about my dad. He's always really liked Andy. Yeah, <laughs> what have you organised for me with my disability? Nothing. Because you know I'm also having a hard time. I think you're perfect as well. <laughs> what have you got for me? <laughs> Nothing. 
As Dad said goodbye to his favourite son, and also me, we had just five hours to go. Over the weekend, our teamwork had improved, but we were dying for that magical 50-hour mark where our senses would be retrieved. Are you ready? It's time. It's time. Hamish was to go first. Oh, my God. Left one's out. Do you feel Hamish better? Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, don't take yours off yet, because your eyes will be sensitive, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn down some lights for you, I think. As I began to peel the patches off, it took me back to Friday, where I had no idea of the adversity I'd face, and now was my chance to see the beautiful world again. Oh! see for 50 hours would have happily been blind for the rest of my life instead of that.